Hi, I'm Jackie, and welcome to my magical home, a place where you can find all kinds of creative homemaking. Sometimes we're going to be cleaning and organizing together. Sometimes we're preparing for a holiday or creating some kind of special meal for my family. Other times I'm taking you along for DIYs or movie nights or other adventures. And I hope that you will join me as we turn the mundane magical, adding a little bit of extra enchantment to everyday adventures. Looking for some ideas on what to get your family for your spring and Easter baskets this year? Then this is the video for you because I'm gonna be giving you a peek into what I'm getting my family. Now this doesn't just include my husband, my adult daughter, and myself. I'm also gonna be showing you what I picked up for my fur babies. So let's go ahead and hop on in. Let's talk about what's in basket number one. Now this one is for my hubby. You're gonna notice there's not a ton of stuff here. That is how it's gonna be with everyone's baskets. I prefer to get something that I know everyone's gonna love as opposed to things that are just gonna get decluttered later. So the first thing I wanted to show you was this epic cup that I had made by Small Town Apparel. And I had a custom cup made for all of my family members. And for my husband, I chose Chamberlain from the Dark Crystal. Now he is a huge fan and he's also a big fan of coffee. So. I got the idea, mmm, essence, off of something else I saw online, but I couldn't get it in a tumbler, so I reached out to Tiffany and I came up with this idea. And because he's also a big Labyrinth fan, you can see, I put a little Jareth on his cup, so he's having all the Jim Henson fun in this gift. Now, in addition to that, my husband is a home brewer, so I picked up this Porter's and Stout book, and I think he's really going to enjoy looking into that. He's been really enjoying making different kinds of darker beers lately. Um, these are the snacks that I picked up for him, which are these Taki organic knockoff um, Zach's Mighty rolled tortilla chip chips. I don't think they're actually organic as much as non-GMO, but hopefully he likes them and we're going to give him a chance. Also, we got these organic sour giggles, which are supposed to be like sour Skittles. Um, now, he has also really been enjoying making his own sauerkraut and pickles and things like that. It's not actually something I enjoy, but because he is so much, I decided to get him some of these fermentation lids. And you just put them onto the top of a mason jar and they help to keep that fermentation from getting all gross and icky. So I think he's gonna be excited about that. And to go along with it, I got Can It and Ferment It, which is a book with small batch canning and fermentation types for him to try out. So I think he's really going to like these things and I can't wait to give him his basket this year. I went ahead and wrapped my husband's gifts so that he didn't see them when they were around the house. I only have so many places that I can hide things and I didn't want to ruin the fun. This basket is for my favorite human on the entire planet, our Hope. So Hope is an absolutely tremendous artist and you can actually find her art on Instagram at at demortem. But this is one of the original characters they created and I believe its name is Rowan. And so I had a cup as well as a custom t-shirt made with that artwork. I cannot wait to give this. I feel like this is such a unique and fun gift and something that you know cannot be found otherwise. So. I just cannot wait for them to open up their basket. In addition, because they do a lot of like digital drawing, you use these weird little gloves and I thought it would be fun to get one with little cats all over it. <laughs> also, this was in her Amazon cart. It's called The Art of Bullish. And I'm not familiar with this artist, but it is something that she seemed to have wanted. And so I picked this up. It is a very nice hardcover book, a nice cover to go with it. So hopefully she'll be real excited about that. In addition to that, I got her some of those Mike's Mighty Rolled Tortilla Chips as well, and some Lemon Bliss Skinny Dipped Almonds, and Smart Sweets, which I think are Sour Patch Kids. Um, I'm not entirely positive, but fingers crossed, right? <laughs> Oops, I forgot to show you this item I got for my daughter. I don't know what they're called, but she loves these things.
I didn't want the glove to fall out of the basket or appear unimpressive, so I decided to put it into this cute little box I decorated. I also wanted to add this shirt to a box, but I didn't have the right size, so I decided to try the viral box hack. And you guys, I couldn't believe how easy it was. You simply fold the box up to the edge on each side, and then you kind of snip the edges. And I did it when I go ahead and tape them, but otherwise you guys are done. You have an instantly small, perfect little box. So this is the last basket for the humans of my family, and this one is for me. First thing that I want to show you is the custom cup that I had made for myself. Now this one just says Witchy Mama, and it's got some random clip art from Canva on it. Um, these cups keep your drinks so cold and hot. I love them. I have a different one that she has made for me in the past, and it is one of my favorite cups for the summertime. Now in addition to that, I got this purple glass decanter from Ross. And fun fact about me, I am super into colored glass as well as decanters. So this was a total score. Um, I also got this Woodland Wardens Oracle deck. Now, I have not checked this one out before, but our animals on it look really interesting and I like the idea of the folklore, so I'm excited to check it out. Um, fun fact about me, Many moons ago, I used to do oracle readings professionally, so I actually have a little stockpile of cards and I love to add new ones. It's kind of one of my little things I love to hoard. Um, I also picked up this awesome fox purse from Etsy and I could not be more excited about this, you guys. I'm not super into purses, but if you want to put a fox or adorable animal on them, you had me at hello. Um, it did have a longer shipping time, so if you guys did want to order something like this, make sure to give extra time. And yeah, I thought that it came in great condition and I am psyched about it. So I will have these items linked down below. I, I also picked up these Unreal Dark Chocolate Peanut Gems, which I'm hoping are really tasty. I'm not a big sweet fan, but I do occasionally enjoy a dark chocolate, well, not a dark chocolate, but a peanut M&M. So a dark chocolate version where all the colors are coming from veggies and stuff sounds like such an awesome alternative. So that is the end of what I picked up for the humans in my family. Now it's time to show you what I got for the fur babies. Now, uh, just like the humans, they just have a couple of items. I like to keep it simple. The idea is to celebrate the season and to shower my loved ones with a little bit of extra fun without breaking the bank, or at least that's my goal anyway. So let's get going and I'll show you what I picked up. Now this is going to be my kitty's basket because there are multiple of them they get to share. Let's be honest, they are just fine doing that. Now this is a basket that is smaller than the ones that we saw for my husband and I. It's kind of like their younger cousin. I thought I was buying a match for my daughter and instead I got this. So we decided to work with it for the cats. And inside we're going to be putting a plush baby blanket with little chicks and Easter eggs on it. I thought it was super cute. And um, I have an elderly kitty who likes to have a cozy spot up on the piano with a warm blanket and a heating pad. So this is kind of for her. In addition to that, I have this little Kong dragon who's nice and crinkly. And I thought he was so cute. Um, so I was very excited to get him. And then keeping with that mythological creature vibe, I also found a little unicorn and a rainbow. So I'm very excited about this. This brought me so much joy. 
And then I also picked up two of these little balls for them. You will notice they're already a little hairy and that is because my kitties have broken into the contents for this basket about four or five times already and they keep stealing these. So I know they're going to be an absolute hit. These were, I think, a dollar at Walmart. So if you decide you'd like to pick some up, they are so cute and definitely something your animals will most likely love. He's, oh, no, wait, Dory, come back. Okay, I am going to go fetch that toy and put this all into the basket. So now we get to talk about what I picked up for my pups this year. So you can see it's basically two things. I am going to be picking up a cookie from our local pet store as well for them. But you know, I didn't want to get it too early because I thought that they would find them and tear everything up to get to those cookies. And I just wanted to avoid that, of course. And sticking with that same mythological creature theme that I had for the cats, two of them are going to be getting these adorable squeaky unicorns and one will be getting this fierce little dragon. This is going to go to Celine. And I got these from Lowe's for $7 each. And they have these personalized dog bandanas that were no sew and they go through their collars. So they're really nice. You're not going to like drop them while you're out walking. And if you um, kind of keep your eye out, I have a video coming out that's going to show you how to make these as well as a couple other DIYs. And we're gonna check out a new mini heat press that was given to me. So keep your eye out for that video. It will be coming soon. Um, but let's go ahead and put these into their basket. All right, my friends, that's a wrap. I hope that you got tons of inspiration and ideas for your family's baskets this year. Don't forget to say hi in the comments down below. And I hope that your spring is just filled with enchantment. Until next time, guys.